Hey guys, well today I thought I'd make a video explaining how a clutch works in your man manual or standard transmission vehicle. Now these are the major components right here. We have the release bearing, the friction disc or friction plate, the pressure plate and the flywheel. Now I'll be discussing each of these components individually and then explaining how they all work together to make your vehicle's clutch work. Also keep in mind that some vehicles are different. Motorbikes use a wet clutch system which is totally different to this. Some off-road vehicles use a different system and Volkswagens use this this clutch system but it's slightly different. But for the most part this is what you're going to encounter with most vehicles. So this is the flywheel. You'll notice this smooth surface on this side uh, a ring gear running around the outside and then this rougher surface on the other side now this consists of this steel ring gear here which was heat shrunk which means it was heated up and then as the metal cools down it contracts so it shrinks onto the cast cast iron uh, plate so now if we imagine the engine is on this side and this attaches to the crankshaft on the back of the engine You'll also notice this gear, the ring gear, around the outside. This has nothing to do with the clutch system. This is what your starter motor turns, which in turn turns the engine via the crankshaft, and turns the motor over so that it may start when you go to start your vehicle. You might have noticed that this looks very similar to a brake rotor in some ways if you took out the ring gear. This is it's, it's quite true because in the way how it works the clutch plate is made out of a brake pad like material. Some vehicles will also have a pilot bearing in here. This came off a Toyota, a 4 age Toyota, very popular a sporty motor Toyota made during the 80s and 90s and it doesn't have one I'm pretty sure quite a few Hondas have them and I'm not too sure about other vehicles but some will have them and some won't this is the friction disc or friction plate or clutch plate depending on where you live in the world or what you prefer to call it now you'll notice that this is not solid there are two plates and there is a thin bit of metal in between called the Marcel. You'll also notice these springs here. The reason for this is that if it was solid it would be ooh, it would not be smooth the clutch engagement. The reason these springs are here is because these two plates move independently of each other they're they're not solid they're not complete together they are riveted as you can see but they do have movement it's up to these springs to dampen that and that means when you take when you're taking your foot off the clutch it will be a smooth and it, it'll transfer the drive much smoother this way there are solid clutches but I'm pretty sure they're obsolete now and I, I've personally I've never seen one now around the outside there is a friction material it almost feels like a brake pad to touch and I'm pretty sure it's made of a similar material the last thing to note is there this hole in the middle it's connected to a spline 
uh, which I'll explain a bit later. This is the pressure plate. Now it consists of the body around the outside or housing or depending on where you live again. The pressure fingers which move like this has the friction plate on the other side looks similar to a brake rotor again or the flywheel and it also has these bits of metal here around the outside, these straps now what these do, they hold the pressure plate, well the friction plate in place but they allow it to move like this with uh, the movement so as as these are being pushed in, the pressure fingers, the friction plate is moving back. This is the thrust or release bearing or throw up bearing depending on where you are in the world. And this attaches to fingers which are attached to an arm which sits outside of the transmission and moves in and out against the pressure plate. Now these can be activated by cable via an arm on the outside of the transmission or hydraulically using a master cylinder which activates a piston which will move these in and out against the pressure fingers of the pressure plate. It depends on the manufacturer and the model of the vehicle. Now if you turn this over you can see there is this side which pushes against the pressure fingers of the pressure plate. Now you see this turns and it feels this one's really good I mean this is brand new and it doesn't turn freely and it feels nice, it feels like there's lots of good grease in there and the bearing's really good in it and that's really good. You can tell these are bad if they don't move at all and they seize, that's really bad or if they just free and, and it feels like there's no resistance or anything then th that's no good either. Now it's time to explain how it all works together. So you have your release bearing which is attached to an arm, cable or hydraulically activated which will move in and out pushing against the pressure fingers of the pressure plate. Now when this pushes down against these fingers As the release bearing pushes on these fingers, they move in. As they move in, it causes the friction plate to move in too. What this then does is release the clutch disc or friction disc. This is spline to the input shaft of your transmission or your gearbox. As this happens, I know this isn't put on properly, but I'm just showing you as an example. As that happens, it stops the friction disc or clutch disc there from being sandwiched in between the flywheel. I mean, imagine this is going to be upright, it's just hard to do uh, while holding the camera. This would be against, this would be bolted on to the crankshaft of your engine on the engine and it would sandwich these together. What this does is then the flywheel is always turning. The clutch disc and it is not always turning. The, it's spline to the input shaft of the transmission so when you push the clutch in it's just sitting there. It's not actually spinning. So the clutch disc is then sandwiched and pushed against this smooth edge here 
and a friction disc and it's sort of like a brake pad then the clutch will start to spin at the same speed as the flywheel which and then transfers that rotating motion to the input shaft which goes through your gearbox and eventually to your differential and then drives your gears uh, dr drives your wheels I'm sorry as you've noticed and this isn't lined up at all these components need to be lined up if you're lucky when you buy your clutch kit it'll come with an alignment tool that you can put down there and it'll help line up it'll help everything line up so it'll, it's all in the right place if you're experienced and know what you're doing often you can just do it by eye so hopefully now you have an idea of how a clutch works now I'll talk about some of the things that can go wrong or problems you might have a real nasty problem to have is if your release bearing seizes and won't turn this isn't this isn't really a huge issue at the start because I mean th this isn't turning the thing is that the pressure plate will be turning and as it pushes against these fingers if you've seen a used one which I'll get for you to see you'll see it will start to wear on the fingers there will always be a little bit of wear if you, if you pull one out and you see that there's marks on it I mean there's always going to be marks there but I mean really cutting into the metal that's not good what can happen is it'll slowly start wearing more and more because it's not turning and wearing out the metal on these fingers then what can happen is it'll actually wear through the metal of the pressure fingers and then what happens is that the clutch just won't work you'll go to use the clutch and the bearing will go straight through the fingers and just hit nothing then you won't be able to move the car or change gears or do anything it would be a horrible situation sometimes the pressure fingers will get bent and dent in I, they're always going to move but sometimes or they, or they can just break off you usually know if this has happened if you go to say start your car and put it into first gear and it makes that horrible grinding noise trying to get it in and it's really horrible but if you turn the key off and then try to put it into gear it's fine now this is caused because the friction plate or the pressure plate I should say is pushing slightly against the friction disc causing all of this to move that's because these aren't releasing all of these aren't being pushed down and pulling that plate back if there's one or two broken off or bent that side will still be pushing against uh, the friction disc and pushing against the flywheel and, and causing this to move when you turn it off this isn't moving anymore so then it'll move into gears freely but then when you turn it on it'll be hard again that's usually one way you can tell now if you look at this friction disc you might have thought before wow that must be really worn out well this one's brand new and it's most likely because you've seen you know the brake pads on your car and thought you know look at how thick the material on a brake pad is it it would be much thicker with the friction disc or friction plate there isn't a hell of a lot of meat on there there's only you know a millimeter or a couple of mils what you look for is the rivets here you see how there's quite a bit of meat before we get to those rivets that means it's good that means it's brand new if it's all the way worn down to the rivets it's most likely going to or is slipping just a bit or it might be slipping quite badly that means your clutch needs to be replaced when people say I've burned out my clutch or I'm burning out my clutch it's normally because just this material is just starting to burn off if you're doing lots of burnouts or you know really um, 
hard launches and dropping the clutch or if you're drifting and doing clutch kicking your clutch can start to smoke especially if it's just a standard one that's because this material is getting so hot and against the uh, flywheel and pressure plate that it's it's causing it to, to, to smoke what can happen sometimes is that this will start to break apart and disintegrate because it's gotten so hot and then you, you've burned out your clutch and, and it just won't work another really good tip is always remember that the clutch disc or the, the raised part of the friction disc or clutch disc goes away from your flywheel so that's how a clutch works and that's the components of the clutch Hope you enjoyed this.